Hi, my name is John Pugh and I'm part of the Advanced Technology Group in Betfair Engineering. Uh, and today I'm going to present the Race Card Accumulator, which is a product we've recently released into our labs environment. Hopefully you'll be encouraged to come along, give it a try and uh, leave some feedback for us. As part of our research and development program, uh, the race card had three main objectives. The first was to use the uh, Adobe Flex to give us a, a rapid application uh, development tool uh, for prototyping and uh, to produce the front end to the product. The second objective was to provide the product over a service oriented architecture. Um, this is the actually the second uh, of many applications that we hope to uh, build using this architecture. Uh, and the third objective was to investigate simple betting interfaces. So taking away some of the complex information that is available on the Betfair exchange, uh, providing the bird bones that people need to make their opinions um, and place bets on the site. So if I explain a little bit about how the um, how the product works, then we can uh, go into some of our conclusions. So this is uh, the accumulator product um, as it's delivered uh, from labs. Uh, the idea behind the product is that it shows all the markets for a, partic a particular meeting, race meeting, uh, and allows you to put a, an initial stake down, uh, and that will then be placed over all the races in the meeting. Uh, the first thing to do is to select the meeting that you're interested in. And here we're picking this evening's racing at Wolverhampton. Uh, so all the races are listed there in order and you can then make your selections. Now I'm staking five pounds so that five pounds will be split between the selections on the first race. So two pound fifty will be put on each horse. Any winnings from that race will go back into your stake for the next race. Now here I'm putting the selections on the place on the win markets. If I want to change those to the place markets, that's easy to do. The order in which you place your selections is important. If there isn't enough stake going into a particular race um, to place all your selections, so there's a minimum bet of two pounds on each selection, um, then the lowest ranked will be excluded from your selections. So in this case, where there are four selections, if there was only enough stake, six pounds for three, then the first three would be placed. You don't have to place bets on all the races, you can miss out races or you can just target races in, in which you're interested. Once you've made your selections you can then authenticate and submit your race card. So that's a quick overview of using the race card accumulator product. Uh, in terms of the conclusions uh, that we came to for our research, using the flex tools um, for rapid application development worked really nicely. Um, they're powerful and they're quick to get out front ends that, uh, as prototypes that can be viewed, reviewed uh, and then returned to people. Um, the main screen itself uses the repeater control so that once you've got a, a component that displays a market it's quite easy to reuse that component. In terms of service oriented architecture that's a difficult one. Um, it, if we were producing a monolithic application I think the, uh, the lead time would have been much shorter than it was. Um, but against that we're building up quite a robust manageable uh, development environment giving us easy deployment uh, and build capabilities 
as well as functions on top of the API such as single sign-in, um, authentication uh, through the API and we're building up reusable components that can be used for many applications. The simple betting type of interface uh, is quite interesting. We've, we've had quite a good uh, take up on the race card product even though we don't show odds and we can't even, when you've made your selections, we can't guarantee the odds because the bets aren't placed until close to the start time of the market. This doesn't seem to have bothered people. Um, people have, have picked up on the accumulator uh, side of the product and it's nice to see we've had a couple of people turn a couple of pounds in, into a sizable amount because of the, uh, the accumulator angle. Uh, this is something that uh, these are avenues that we're going to progress with uh, in further products I'm sure. Uh, in terms of work to do on top of what we've got, I think the, the main thing is to give people more feedback and the way that their bets are going so that you'll be able to return to the race cow product and see how your bets have done without resorting to your account statement. Um, thank you for your time and please, like I say, go ahead, try the race card accumulator, leave us some feedback on our lab site.